Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to the part 2 video of my experience at the Google Innovation Academy. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and the like button below if you would like to see more education videos like this. Without further ado, let's get started. Like I said in the previous video, top educators presented Spark sessions on practical approaches, valuable tools, and techniques. Here are some of the things I learned about the Spark sessions, accompanied with some of the sketch notes I took. I was pretty starstruck when Dan Russell, a search anthropologist for Google, came up to talk about Google Search. He first started by explaining that, shockingly, 90.5% of people do not know how to use Control F on the PC or Command F on the Mac. This keyboard shortcut allows you to search text on a web page. Around 50% of the teachers don't know about this feature. He then talked about informancy, informational literacy, the ability to know how to use literacy technologies. With the internet, we have so much information at our fingertips, but many students and even educators don't know how to make sense of it all or think critically with the information, or make new understandings from what they learn. Are we teaching our students how to identify quality resources, as well as poor ones? He showed us a website about the tree octopus, and how informational illiterate students would use this website as a source. He then moved on to meta-literacy, the ability to learn literacy technologies with what's possible, and the changes and additions to content. Students can't just look it up. You have to know the information. The next Spark session was led by Monica Martinez called Designing for Culture and Project Management. We started out with two team building activities that sparked the culture of security, engagement, happiness, connectedness, and community. She mentioned how it is crucial for admin and faculty meetings to model these types of culture and lay the foundations for the school. Monica recommended Gary Keller's book, The One Thing, where it explains how you should focus on what matters, on that one thing that is most important to you, your students, and your school. The book mentions the domino effect. A single domino is capable of bringing down another domino that is actually 50% larger. So ultimately, you can knock down any goal or challenge if you prioritize and put all your focus on what is important. Monica also mentioned the rocks, pebbles, and sand story that teaches us that we need to solve the big issues first, the big rocks, and then the small issues, pebbles and sand, and then everything will fall into place. Many times we focus on the pebbles, finding ourselves doing small tasks and never, and never have time to do the big things. Danita Morgan presented the Spark session Overcoming Fear. She described fear as something that holds people back and prevents them from learning new things that interest them and fear could ultimately prevent you from doing things that would give you success. Some of the fears involve rejection, success, public speaking, or failure. Danita explained that some fears are not reality, but are created by our own minds. She recommends using the fear management strategy, for example with public speaking, using high power body language and posture that can actually lower the level of fear and instead make you confident. Up next was Erica Fox. Google's Director of People Development, whose job is to grow and develop Googlers through the use of data. She talked about the culture of learning that contains specific learning beliefs, which are learning is a process through practice, feedback, and reflection. Learning happens in real life through obstacles Googlers face all the time. Learning is personal, with each of us having our own motivations and learning styles. And finally, learning is social where there is interaction and Googlers teach one another. Erica also stated that Google emphasizes the importance of building learners that involves capabilities building, strong communities, and critical experiences, and that the development of great teams can only happen if the environment is psychologically safe and is inclusive. Sandra Chow, our team's amazing mentor, who has provided us with great feedback and connected us to awesome educators, also presented. Her session was called Culturally Responsive Pedagogy. This approach is centered on identifying and nurturing cultural strengths to help students succeed, moving towards equity. She recommended that we consider our biases, such as socioeconomics, race, age, gender, and ability. 
because they can negatively affect student success. Because they can negatively affect student learning. You can find more information on culturally responsive pedagogy in the description below. We were also visited by Jonathan, the co founder of Drive and Apps, who talked about the journey of creating a platform where students can collaborate and work together in real time. And Yoel talked about Google Expeditions, a VR platform that brings students on virtual trips to educational places like outer space and museums. We got to experience a trip that contained annotated details, points of interest, and questions that could be integrated into curriculum. Courtney Hampson talked about Camp Google, a digital free summer camp that helps kids learn through fun interactive science activities and adventures, where they learn through exploration and discovery. Carrie Ann Philbin, who I've been watching on YouTube for years, came and talked about Pi Academy, a free teacher training event where it tries to demystify hands on computing. It gives educators the skills and knowledge they need to get creative with computing, no matter what their level of experience. And finally, Sylvia Duckworth motivated us to try sketchnoting, a method of taking notes through personal visual stories. Sylvia Duckworth actually made a sketchnote for our educational permaculture team called 10 Ways Children Are Like Gardens. Alright, so that was the last of my sketchnotes I took at the academy. I placed links to all of the information I discussed in the video in the description below. Again, please hit the subscribe button and the like button if you would like to see more education videos like this. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.